Hey guys, welcome to the Salty Strikes Fishing Channel. I'm Chris. We have a, a quick and short charter, and I got Frank here. Say hi, Frank. How you doing? <laughs> All right, guys, and we're really gonna try to look for some tarpon today. Hopefully, we can find them. Hopefully, they're chewing, and uh, we'll get on them. So stick around, check it out. All right, guys. So while when we're looking for tarpon, there's a couple different things that kind of need to kind of happen to make those come together is you got to have the right bait and we got mullet today i got about uh 18 mullet and then you usually have to have current the current's usually got to be moving for them to get excited to eat and then that's the other thing they got to be eating sometimes you can look around here you've seen in previous videos where they're just rolling all over and they're just not biting i got bait out everywhere and they're just not hitting it so uh you got those three things come together hopefully they will today so we'll get to it and and it is drizzling rain today but hopefully the that kind of stops because that's uh wreaks havoc for youtubers We've got to constantly wipe our camera but hopefully we'll get some nice fish for you here today so stick around and uh we'll see what we can do wish us luck what the heck is that it uh, looks like a goliath grouper or something or we're gonna go check this out what the heck is this it might be injured or something What is that? It looks all bloated. It's swimming. Yeah, he's swimming upside down. He's all... What is that? No, that's a big old... That's a grouper. Oh, he's all blown up. Oh man, that's crazy. Wow, dang. Oh man, he's, he's all bloated. He ain't feeling too good. Yeah. Oh man, he is a big old grouper. I think it's massive. Here, uh. Holy crap. Let's see what this guy is. Oh man, look at this giant grouper. It looks like a Goliath grouper. Crap. He went down. Yeah, he went down. See if he pops back up. Wow, that was crazy. That was insane. Maybe he just needed to help turn it over. He swim back, swim back, went back down. That was insane. I don't see him. It looked a little bloated and turned over. Maybe when I rolled him over, it allowed that gas to escape and he was able to go back down. I think we just saved a grouper. <laughs> nice. Right off the bat there, that's awesome. <laughs> I think it was massive. It was huge. That was, I don't know, he, God, he's probably 200 pounds. That was a big sucker. Like his whole, his, just his head fit inside this freaking net. <laughs> just his head. The thing was insane. All right. Let's get back on track now, guys. That was pretty cool. I, mean, I can't get, I can't get over it. I'm like, that's one of the craziest things I've seen in shore here. I've seen fish floating around before and usually there's something wrong with them. But like obviously his belly looked distended and uh then i just rolled him over and he seemed to swim away just fine and we don't see him coming back up at all so he must have made it down okay probably just you know expelled that gas or whatever uh, i mean that's weird all right he came back up yeah he's got he looks like a goliath grouper he's got these big old spikes on him yeah it's crazy I don't want to perforate your stomach. Yeah. There we go. There we go. We got him. Uh, there he goes. All right. Yeah. You see the air coming out? Yeah. There he goes. Woo. All right. We just had to. He was. He must have got brought up or something offshore. Somebody probably let him go, and he expanded. I don't know if you heard that or not. There we go. But we just uh, basically what you call venting him. 
and you just uh, poke at his ear bladder, which if you're not sure how to do, then just, you know, leave him be. But uh, you, you saw the air just kind of come out of him when he went down, he went swim straight down. I think we just saved that guy. We just saved a Goliath grouper. Yeah. Good job, man. And that was a monster too. Yeah, he's good now. Cause like I saw that air bubbles as he went down, they were just coming out of him. So that saved him. So somebody can go catch him. He's probably gonna go hide underneath the North Causeway Bridge. I can always hear rumors of this like giant Goliath grouper on the North Causeway. Well, now there might be one because we just let him go and he's heading that direction. What the heck of a way to start the morning. Yeah, like Frank was just saying, it was like instant relief. As soon as we let that air out and air started coming out from his bladder, it was like he started coming alive and shaking and swam right back down. But he was, he seems to be fine, not coming back up yet. So I think we did it guys. Another fist pound for that one, man. Yeah. Good job, teamwork. Couldn't have done that by myself. <laughs> it was way too big. <laughs> All right, now we're back to looking for some tarpon. I ha we haven't seen any rolling yet, and I'll keep an eye on the bottom machine. Hopefully I'll see some sign or something. Otherwise we may have to go to like a plan B or something, but hopefully they'll be around. But that, I don't know. I'm still at all, that, that, that freaking Goliath was awesome, man. Especially we saved him, he's good to go. Did not float back up, so. Man, I'm still, it was worth coming out just for that. That Goliath uh, rescue. All right, guys, we're showing a little bit of fish line. I'm gonna put your bag right here. Okay. And uh, so we are going to drop some mullet in the water and this is what we got set up. And we, I got about an ounce and a half sinker here, a three-aught trocar inline circle hook. And basically what we're going to do is just drop them straight down till basically it hits the bottom. I got the trolling motor on anchor right now. And then once we got our baits in the water, I'm going to take that off anchor and we're just going to drift uh, straight through here and hopefully hook up on them. I got some uh, shrimp for backup in case this doesn't work out, but hopefully, uh, you know, my bottom machine's not lying to me and they're hungry. And I'll stick one right over here. Same exact setup. These are the, my ugly stick Tiger Elites, heavy rods. They're about seven foot. I got a, a Pen Battle 5000 on this one and a Pen Slammer 4500 on that one. And I have all this stuff linked down in the description area below in case you're interested. And we got, now the rain's coming. We're basically almost at the end of our first drift and uh, we did see some tarpon roll. So that's a good sign. We ain't got hit yet, but we may have to do this a couple times until we get to them. Haven't had any hookups yet, but uh, we had definitely have seen a couple of them roll, so we know they're around. I don't know. Uh, we may try some stationary, and uh, but we'll probably give this drift in a couple more tries. Well, we've done a couple of drifts, and uh, we've seen them rolling. Not a ton of them, a, a few here and there. So we know they're here, they just might not be eaten. So may have to switch it up here in a little bit, but we're we're giving a hell. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, oh wait, I think it just I think it just snagged on something. Cause he's still there. Still there. There we go. Oh, yeah, I think it might be some freaking catfish grabbing him. Cause he's coming back for it. Stupid catfish. But yeah, something snagged, grabbed it. That been good. Yeah. Oh yeah, but he got he he grabbed it, whatever it was. Yeah. That might have been a blue. Yeah, that looks like a bluefish chomp. Okay. Yeah, look, you can see him grabbed him. Tw he grabbed it twice. Yeah. See the bite there? Yeah. All right. Drilling? 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna we'll go we'll go set up over yonder. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> we threw the book the kitchen sink at him. We we gave him everything. We had three baits out, two down to the bottom, one free line in. Uh, we did several drifts. Uh, we're seeing them all over the place. I haven't caught any on video yet because by the time I see them roll and hit the button, it's too late. They're already back underwater. But uh, we've seen quite a few around. Uh, so we're gonna switch it up a bit, tr go try to find some more fish somewhere else and uh, see if we can't salvage the day. And maybe if the tide turns, try it again. We'll see, but uh, moving on. We're seeing some fish signs, so we're gonna chuck down some, some stuff down here and see what happens. We're just gonna do one mullet and we're gonna throw out some shrimp. And we'll keep this one like, actually we'll keep this one pretty close and we'll throw the shrimp out probably a little farther. Um, you know, just a three-out mustad inline circle hook, little ounce weight, and we're just gonna chuck it. I like to, like when the current's moving like this, I'd like to throw it out a little bit and then let it just drift back. That way it cover some ground. Now we got the rain coming at us. <laughs> we, can't, we can't have any, any more dumb luck. Yeah. Got a little something. What do we got? What do we got? Is it Jack? Jack. Yep. Yep, at least <laughs> it's got the skunk off the boat finally. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we may get a bunch of jacks over here, but hey, better than chasing tarpon that aren't biting. Yeah. You're on, you're on, you're on. Oh, that one too. Uh oh. No. All right, which one do you want? Which one? <laughs> Just... I think this one's gone. All right, come get it. Yeah, you still got him. <laughs> come get him. Yeah. Everybody got there. That feels like a jack. Yep. Looks like it's fighting like one too. Oh yeah. yeah there we go. Yeah, it's got some fight. Yeah. I mean they they fight for their size. It's ridiculous. He does not want to come up, does he? Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, he's digging, isn't he? Yeah. Good grief. Oh man, Woo. maybe a little bit bigger than we thought. Yeah. Oh man, he might be a good size jack. Oh, that's a oh, permit. That's a per per yeah. Permit. Hold on, let me get the net. Let me get the net. At least you're gonna take some, get some dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just bring over here. <laughs> ah. There you go. Got him. Woo. Got him. Permit. Nice. Right on. Hell yeah. Yep. Oh man, maybe we can get a few more of those, but these only got to be 11. That sucker's a nice size. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, man, that's fighting harder than a, a jack. I'm like, He's heavy got a nice too, permit, yeah. yeah. There you go. All right, let's measure them up real quick. Uh, and this is to the fork. You got to be 11. And he's 12 and a half. Sweet. You want a picture real quick? Heck yeah. Here. I'll take a screenshot and send it to you. All right, I'll go throw them in the box. Nice. All right, let's take some dinner home. He, went, he came out here really looking for tarpon, but hey, that's a nice fish. Let's see if we can't find a few more of those. Heck yeah. Freaking rain, man. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's supposed to be in the dry season. All right, I'll send some more out. It's running now. Yeah, we didn't know the last time. Hopefully it's a like, permit. Feels like the last one. We'll see here in a second. Oh, Jack. 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 All right. Yep. We'll take a few Jacks with the, as long as we got a nice permit thrown in the mix. <laughs> there you go. All right. Get some some more bait out. Nope. Oh, like he let go. You got yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Just, yeah, just put that in the rod holder. 
You got it. Oh, something jumped. Is that is that him over there? I think you got a blue. Oh, oh man, everything's blowing up. I got, I, I got it. I got it. Whichever one you think's bigger. All right, what do we got over there? Man, it's blowing up, blowing up, crazy, doubled up. But we probably got a blue over there. That that line's that weight's gonna hit the end. You gotta knock it down. And you got a jack here. What do you got there? Yeah, it's crazy. I'll, I'll help you with that in a second. Okay. He's gone. Oh no, it's a. Uh... There you go. It's a blue. What is that? Or is that a lady? Looks like a lady. Yep, That's a lady a fish. Lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit of variety. Keep That's that guy crazy. out of the boat. Because yeah. <laughs> they like to poo. See, there he goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That makes good bait, but we got nice. plenty of mullet and stuff, so we'll throw some more out. Hey, we're getting some action. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, he's decent. Oh, it looks like another. Another lady? Yeah. Get him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got him. There we go. At least we got some, some fun to fight. Oh, yeah. Alright, start scooching down. There you go. Oh, there he goes. Woo! Hey, we caught the uh, poor man's tarpon. We didn't get the yeah. <laughs> the big tarpon. We got the poor man's tarpon. Uh, calm down, buddy. Calm down. She's full of life. And I got Mother Nature giving the boat a wash right now. I don't need you dirtying it up. <laughs> there we go. Nice tarpon. Oh, the uh, ladyfish. Good job, man. We're getting them in. We went from Goliath Group of Rescue to Tarpon Bus to now we're hitting left and right. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Uh-oh. Yep. There we go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It's... What do we got? Big lady. Another big lady? Man, holy crap. Yeah, you fight him over that way. Go that way. Just go that way with him. Yep. Something jumped over there too. Man, that's a good. Man, he's fighting. Yeah. Oh crap. <laughs> oh. Oh man, that's a monster. Yeah. He was hungry. Went after that freaking uh, uh, mullet. You ever had ladyfish? I haven't. I heard there's a lot of bones in them. No, there, there's a, uh, well, my, my buddy Mike D has a recipe for uh, cooking them and uh, they taste like chicken nuggets when you get done. Really? Like, like, like McDonald's chicken nuggets. I've done it before. You know, it's, it's a little bit of a work, but it, I don't know, it's interesting in case you okay. ever want to try them. Yeah. Man, these ladyfish are tearing up these mullet and they're not little mullet either. But that was a huge ladyfish. Oh, there you go. Get him. Come get him. There you go. Oh, man. There you go. Man, as soon as it hits the water over here. Is he still on? There you go. Yeah, you got him. There. You still got him. Man, these are some fun fish. Woo! Even the smaller ones are fun. <laughs> the acrobatics and everything. Some people stick their nose. Oh, man. <laughs> He's not messing around. All right. Uh. Uh. Wow. <laughs> He's not screwing around. Well, did you want to try that recipe? We can keep a couple of them. Yeah. All right, that was not quite as big, but we got them. Is that another lady? What do we got? I like it. Yeah, maybe. He didn't jump. Nope. Oh, that Jack. was Jack that time. Jack, Jack that time. Jack. Yep. No. Oh. <laughs> Grunting. Uh. Come on. My fingers are wet. It's not easy getting those hooks out. There we go. Man, we're just chucking these things out here and they're getting hit like right away.
See? Oh, yeah. Tap, tap, tap. There we go. There's the, told you. Nice. Oh, there we go. Come get him. Come get him. Oh, there he goes. Come get him. Gonna make some ladyfish appetizers with your uh, permit. Yeah. Oh, he's running. Uh, oh, there he goes. Oh, she's a good one, too. Yep. Oh. All right, we'll bring this one in. Ah. Oh, man, he's got that one in, in there. My buddy, Jada Rocks Mike D, he has a recipe for these things. And they taste just like McDonald's chicken nuggets. Uh, I'll leave those linked in the description area below. And he wants to give it a shot. So I've tried them before and it's no joke. They taste just like McDonald's chicken nuggets. But uh, it takes a little work. You gotta put them on, on ice overnight and then you flay them and then you gotta scrape it off with a spoon and you, you kind of ball them up. It, it, it's a good recipe. If you've never done it before, you gotta at least try it once. You feeling it? Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go, there you go, yep. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. There you go. There you go. They are hitting fast, aren't they? Very aggressive. What do we got, what do we got? It's not run, jumping or running. It's probably a jack, this one might be a jack. Yeah, yeah he's got that jack wiggle yeah yep no jack. jack all right yep got him oh man swallowed it uh see if i can get that out oh eat him if he oh we get hit over there i'm gonna get my hook back he'll be all right okay. there we go there we go oh, jack. yeah jack jack attack Yeah. Yeah. Just give me a little bit right there. That's about the same size. Yep. Oh. These are fun. I tell you what. Oh yeah. And another jack. Oh yeah. Well, now we're trying to catch a few ladies. Oh, we're gonna get his jack, right? <laughs> <laughs> Man, too bad there wasn't a few more pump and uh, permit uh, mixed in. That pretty sweet. Yeah, I think I saw a school of them on the bottom machine when we came through. All right, oh, we got another lady, yeah. Sorry to get this on the boat. Yeah, just pick them up, slop them in. Yep, oh, there we go. Man, they're a hot mess, aren't they? <laughs> Psycho! <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll throw it in the box. Nice. All right, there you go. You got him. Yep, yep, you got him. Oh yeah. I think that's another lady. I don't know. He's he's running. What do we got? What do we got? Come over here. Come over here. Yep, just fight him over here. Oh yeah, it is. That one's running. Man, uh, oh, yep, it's another lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was hoping maybe another permanent for a second there. Yeah, let me just get the net. Ah, these are big ladies. Yeah. Yeah, those are monsters. Uh, you can, there, there's no limit. There's no bag limit. Okay. Yep. What do you think? No, I think that's a lady because he's running. I don't, I don't know. Jack. Jack, yeah. Yeah, because staying down. Yeah. Usually those ladies come to the surface. Jack attack. Yep. Oh. 
bunch of these little guys lately. Yeah. Sometimes they come through and they're big and sometimes they're well they're usually all cookie cutter which means they're all like the same size they kind of well they all when they school together they like to school together in the same size yeah yeah you might your bait might break gone over there yeah I was just thinking that. yeah if you set it down for a second they'll take it they'll steal it no uh -oh. Where did the permit go? Yeah, <laughs> you got that nice one. It's kind of stoked if there was a school of permit under us. Yeah. Yep. They're just ah, slimy. All right, you got him. He's coming this way. Come on. Another jack. Man. Jack we went from City. sitting there watching poles all morning, waiting for a tarpon to just non-stop action here. Uh, come on, get out. There you go. Oh yeah. That was better. That was decent. Good fight. Oh, you getting hit over there? <laughs> yep. Uh, let me go. Oh, nope. Keep going. Yep. What do we got, Jack or Lady? Jack. Yeah. Jack. Yeah, Jack. Oh, Jack. Yeah. Nope. Nice little Jack. <laughs> there you go. Oh, another Lady. Oh, there he goes. Oh man, yeah. feisty, feisty. These suckers are crazy. <laughs> oh man, good grief. Oh, we just oh, lost him. I oh. ah, should have netted him, should have netted him. There you go. That's another lady. Yep, I'll get the net this time. Are you sure? Jack. Yeah. I think it's a lady, though. Oh. Usually they head for the surface. When they get close to the boat like this and they dig down, usually Jack. Oh, yeah. Yep, Jack. Yep. Jack yep. Man, that makes about number 572. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Right, we got a wall of rain coming at us, so we're going to try to get out of its way. And hopefully we'll pass over yonder. Oh, it's coming. Look. Man. It's really coming down now. Hopefully we can get past this go fast spot. We'll calm down. Been a heck of a day. Been a heck of a day. Oh man, what a hot mess. All right, we're gonna give this one more shot before we call it a day. Come on, open up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, check it straight out there. You got not a tarpon, but Uh, blue. Yeah, there's freaking blues that have been tearing us up. Yeah. You might be, uh, he's probably gonna be small. He's gonna be 12 inches. But, man, these blues have been tearing up a mullet. But, oh, there you go. And he's a keeper. You can keep him. Yeah. Right on. He's yeah. not <laughs> tarpon eluding but we're still catching fish. A freaking bluefish just tearing us up. That's a bluefish bite. This one, oh, 
Yeah, it's probably blue. Beyond? Yep. Yeah, it's, yeah, come get him. It's a blue. <laughs> Got a blue. Revenge on him. Got the revenge of the blues. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yep. Got the net. Can't get the tarpon, but definitely gonna get some blues. Oh, did you see him following them? There was more down there. Ah, destroying our mullet. Look at that. Oh, he's probably gonna be too small, but tearing up our mullet. See that perfect chomp size? Uh, don't wanna get my fingers. Oh, you might be able to take him home too. He's probably 12. There we go. Uh, yep. Nice. One in the box. Uh, all right, guys. So that's going to wrap up our day. That was pretty awesome. We got, uh, rescued that Goliath grouper. First thing right off the bat. You never know. Like, like we were the only ones out here. So he probably would have died if if we hadn't been out here there's no we didn't see any other boats hardly at all this morning but uh you know the plans didn't work out with the tarpon sorry like but we gave it hell we we, we tried everything we threw away the kitchen sink at them we tried twice we even came back but then you know we switched things up and we found some nice fish we put some nice fish in the box and we went back after tarpon again and then the blue fish just tore us up they're eating through our mullet like nobody's business and uh so we just kind of ran out of time here so uh do you have fun awesome good fishing good fishing that's what it's all about just get out of here and having a good time even though it rained on us a little bit but if you enjoyed hit that subscribe button notification bell all that fancy mess give this video a big thumbs up we greatly appreciate it and if you want me to take you fishing visit saltystrikesfishing.com i uh, do fishing charters out of ponce inlet and you can book your trips there so until we see you next time guys stay salty